Washington was? We didn't either until one of our classmates wanted to know who broke the color barrier in professional football. We were shocked that a man who did so much for the NFL was not in the Hall of Fame. We thought it was wrong that Kenny Washington is not in the Hall of Fame and set out to change it. We started a petition on change.org and have over 10,000 signatures. We received news coverage in USA Today, Five, the Atlanta Black Star, San Jose Mercury News, and several local pairs, papers. Tamba Holly, Michael Robertson, Isaiah Kazavinsky, Daquan Jones, and Don McPherson all repeated our petition. Kenny Washington faced everything Jackie Robinson did and more since football is a contact sport. Washington was hit purposely on his knees, which were already weak from five surgeries and rickets as a child. In a game against the Redskins, he was held on the bottom of the pile and had chalk rubbed in his eyes. In spite of all of this, Kenny Washington never complained and held his head high. Kenny Washington was a great athlete who was robbed of the time in the NFL because of the color band. Kenny Washington was the first All-American at UCLA. In 1939, his senior year, he was the number one in offense in the entire country and was not drafted because of the color of his skin. Kenny Washington still holds the record for the longest run from scrimmage for the Rams, 92 yards. When Kenny and were retired, thousands of fans in the Los Angeles came out to cheer for him. He was a hometown hero and an athlete in high school and for UCLA. Despite the racism he faced, his talent, character, perseverance, and sportsmanship allowed him to shape the sports history. One of the standards of the Hall of Fame. Kenny Washington paved the way for African Americans. 60% of players in today's NFL are African American. That would not have been possible with old Kenny Washington leading the way. There are more important things than statistics. Even though Kenny's career did ha didn't have the numbers as others in the Hall of Fame, he did something more important. Breaking the color barrier, barrier and reintegrating the NFL in 1946 changed the face of the NFL. He paved the, he paved the way for others. He led by example and endured more than anyone should have to. Electing Kenny Washington to the Hall of Fame also sends the message to students like us that bring that being brave, overcoming obstacles, and standing up for what is recognized. The NFL needs some positive stories and celebrates its true heroes who shape the game. As kids, it's hard to find heroes. Kenny Washington was a hero for the NFL and for us. We've worked hard and we'll keep working until Kenny Washington is in the Hall of Fame. But we need your help. Please help us get this civil rights hero recognized by the Hall of Fame.